<clears throat> Hello, welcome back to the channel. I'm just sort of laid down here in the shade out of the way. It is red as. Uh, today we're going to start on the little mini restoration on this MX-5. Uh, I'm starting on this driver's rear. Got it jacked up, wheel off. Uh, we're going to start with taking the uh, these plastic liners out. I'm going, to, I'm going to clean all the dirt and build up off this arch and off the suspension components as well. See what it's like. Any rust will uh, will grind back to decent metal. If we need any patches putting in, we'll do that as well. Uh, I've got some uh, rust converter spray. Don't know how good it is, but we'll give that a go. Um, got new discs on it although you wouldn't tell the state they're in new pads uh, and I was going to keep these calipers but I've got some new ones as well that I was going to fit in case it needed them I'll do it anyway because uh, I'm going to paint them all up and make it look well as mint but as original as possible so let's get cracking so we're on 10 mils there's four of them two I think are in shot there's one in here and one sort of down there I'm hoping there's nothing lurking behind this cover obviously it's been MOT'd was it last week or week before um, uh, obviously they can't remove covers to actually inspect <laughs> screwdriver and just uh, have a stabby stab make sure we're uh, solid if we are and then we'll start start with grinding I've got some wire wheel adapters for the grinder it'll clean the rust up I think I'll uh, get my pressure washer out and some uh, some sort of uh, cleaning solution yeah we'll start cleaning some stiff brushes as well see what happens right, so if we come in here we can sort of see down there there's a patch of corrosion starting to appear and sort of all up this fold as well sort of a bit here starting to come through so we'll just give it all a tap and see what happens and you can see the sort of top layer of corrosion coming off underneath is still pretty solid we might just caught this and just uh, in the nick of time obviously moisture's probably got in behind that under seal oh 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 we've got a hole Right, so there's a bit of a hole there. I'm going to have to sort out. And we're going to come down here now and have a look. See what state that's in. It seems to be around the uh, mounting points for that cover. I don't know if that's just coincidental. Solid. Yeah, so that's all really in this arch. These that was the worst bit, which really for the edge of it. And oh, what's that up there? Just want to treat in as well. But yeah, considering the edge of it, it's uh, and the sort of the proneness to corrosion not too bad we'll clean the rest of this arch out first and then we'll uh, see what we're working with address that and right, there yeah so we're going to start with Carry on. Uh, my little baby car show my k2 with this uh, 360 degree adapter on it just going to soften any uh, any dirt in there 
hopefully make it easier to uh, to remove. And then we'll start with the chemicals. Right, just let that water obviously get absorbed by the uh, the mud, and uh, go and get some chemicals. So in this, we've got some uh, traffic film remover. Not sure on the ratio. Uh, I think it's pretty strong. It'll help break down some more uh, more dirt. Just going to do all the sort of inner arch. This arch with uh, mud flap, springs, suspension arms. This bit of chassis area we can see. So I want to get it all as clean as possible. It's trying to get it in your face. Oh dear. And I've got some, uh, just like I said, I've got some stiff brushes to uh, agitate it all. Let that soak and I'll go and grab these brushes. got this brush, just a little sort of detailing brush which will uh, do the intricate areas, hopefully that's the plan anyway. Uh, I've got a wheel brush which is a bit stiffer which will hopefully do sort of some flattish surfaces. We shall see, I'm intrigued to see how clean it's actually going to turn out bring you in and we can have a look at a before shot. So we can sort of compare before and afters. Not entirely sure how well it's going to come up. Don't know whether to get some silver paint, some colour match paint and do the inner, inner arch to match the bodywork. See what happens. Might whip this mud flap off as well. Just so we can see a lot clearer what's uh, going on. It's not under seal, I think that's mainly under seal rather than layers of uh, mud. Oh well. So I'll get in between the spring coils. This one, that's pretty, pretty good for that actually. Just, just making it up as we're going along, I don't know if you've noticed. Ah, right in the face. And then we've got a big sort of barrel brush that we can uh, use if we need to. Obviously anything that's on the back side of wheels is going to be in this wheel arch, so it's not going to ruin the brush really. arms will come up. Right, I'll reposition you underneath just so we can see how well this arm comes up, I think. Let's just let's just have a look at that. I'm just sort of spraying it with some of the uh, cleaning solution. I'm just agitating it, working it in. Let's just rinse it and see how uh, how clean we're getting. Look at the state of that. <sighs> but my face is covered and all.
That's pretty fucking decent. They're actually not bad. Not bad at all. Obviously the powder coating's starting to come off in there. But I mean, hell, for a 20, I don't know how old it is, 27 year old car. Not bad at all. So I'm just gonna carry on like this with me, my TFR and my brushes. And we'll come back when it's uh, when it's cleaned up. If I use any different technique, I'll uh, I'll bring you back in and let you see it. Right, this is what we're dealing with at the minute. So the spring is looking pretty clean. This hub is actually clean. It's fucking come back to black. Surprised it's not uh, got a layer of rust on it. This top arm is pretty decent. Uh, that bit of chassis, there's a couple of little bits of surface rust down there starting to clean up all right. Um, these original brake pipes by the looks of it, not even a single bit of rust on them. I'm impressed. And then uh, bottom arm, that's looking uh, pretty clean as well. Been looked after I think. I'm not used very much. Just trying to get this mud flap off. These, these two have seized. This one's fucking can't get my screwdriver in. I've got some WD-40 on there. Hopefully that frees it off. Right. One thing we should probably talk about is what we're going to do for protection once this is all cleaned, painted, under sealed, whatever it is that we're doing with it. How we're going to keep it, you know, cleaner for longer. And uh, I've got two products. The first is. Uh, chemical guys bare bones undercarriage protector this is an oil based uh, dressing uh, which is going to obviously bring any black surfaces back to a deep gloss and black if you want it gloss that is uh, I think you can wipe excess off and it'll make it a more matte finish uh, but that's that one the other is it's actually for, for mountain bikes Fenwick's protective coating now there isn't much information on what this is made with I don't know if it's water based or, or what um, I got obviously a small a small bottle just to try it because um, it says it's for various finishes and obviously wheel arches have got metal rubber plastics um, so this should hopefully do a decent job under there um, you know ideally a ceramic coating in the art should be it'd be great but I don't think I think you've you've got to get different ceramic coatings for different materials and it's gonna get expensive. Um so yeah we've got that or that I'm probably gonna go with this one chemical guys to be honest being a oil based it's gonna hopefully repel moisture hopefully keep corrosion at bay uh, this one I'll probably use on the beamer which is just next to me there so we're on with rebuilding the front suspension on that beamer so this is probably what we'll use to protect the beamer because corrosion is hopefully going to be less likely on that being newer so yeah protection right so next just got a bit of wire wheel in this drill I've already started sort of here you can see if I need something a bit more aggressive I've got some of these to go in a grinder we'll see how we get on with this I'm just going to clean up around this area and see see where the clean metal is see how big the patch is going to get see now we're starting to get some clean metal there so I'm just gonna keep going round until it's uh, clean metal all around that sort of corroded area right so that's sort of cleaned up now and uh, can't really be asked cutting a plate for it so I might just see if I can glob up them holes there's a little pinhole started there obviously that one 
there's a sort of little crater there that wants filling in. We'll grind it back and see how it looks. Right, you missed the welding. I forgot to press record. I've just I've globbed this hole up and this one. I've just sort of half ground it back. I'll finish it off now. There we go. That's pretty decent. You can hardly fucking tell. And the rest of it's cleaned up pretty well as well. So we'll just uh, clean the bottom bit up with drill and wire brush. And then uh, we'll get our rust converter spray out. Go over it all, see what that, uh, see what right, that does. So that's all the uh, major rust cleaned up. I've got some brake cleaner and a rag. I'm just going to uh, clean any dust and debris from uh, obviously the areas we're going to be treating with that rust converting stuff. I think it's going to be just all this sort of rear closing panel kind of section. Oh yeah, not too bad at all. I think somebody's been in with some sort of under sealer before as well. With some sort of tar, black tarry kind of stuff. So it's, uh, yeah, that's probably why it's not as rotten as perhaps it might have been. It's pretty warm today, so this, all, all stuff I've had blasted with pressure washer, it's pretty much dry now anyway. So, we could probably paint really, if I had some I'll have to order a tin of colour match paint, I think that's what we're going to do, yeah, colour match this arch and that'll look, it'll look nice, look tidy then, but first of all, where's that rust stuff? Give this a shake and then uh, see what happens. It's clear. Right. I thought it was like a pen. turns into a black waterproof coating heat resistant up to 200 Fahrenheit can be used with body filler and fiberglass oh well <laughs> not the thing is a cat fucking hell can't really see where I've been Pause. We can't really put too much of it on, can we? You know. What's what's the worst that's going to happen? Too much rust protection. Right, so we'll leave that and see what happens. Right, that's it for today. Um, just going to treat the rest of this arch just the same as I have done this little section. And uh, yeah, hopefully, it turns out decent. So, cheers for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Like, share, 
subscribe the Carl Lovers channel.